Part 6 Calculating Term Success Final grades are updated automatically throughout the term as you enter assignment scores in Unified Classroom. When the term comes to a close, however, you may have additional tasks to perform before submitting grades for report cards to make sure that your final grades are accurate. For example, you may need to modify a student's final grade in a course based on effort, participation, or other performance factors. To work with final grades, click the grading charm and then grades. Access the different options of the grades page using the quick menu. The arrow next to the heading at the top of the grades page. While these grades pages are designed for end of term review, a teacher is welcome to consult these pages at any time of the semester. Traditional grades page. Click traditional to view the traditional grades for an entire class along with a summary of how many absences, tardies, missing assignments, late assignments, and incomplete assignments each student has. The table of data provides tallies in the stated columns. You can also edit the final grades of your students on this page. To do so, find the student for whom you need to make the grade change in the list of students. Click in the first column, the term grade column, and edit the data in the score inspector. When the score inspector opens, you will recognize it because you are familiar with this from all marking of assignments you have done. But this scope inspector is slightly different than the assignment score inspector. This inspector will show you the calculated grade and percentage of the students. You can edit the final grade by clicking directly into the grade or percentage box of the score inspector and changing the score. When you manually override a final grade, you will immediately get a little tag in the top left-hand corner of the cell you have changed. This is a visual indicator to you, the teacher, that this grade has been modified. Parents and students will not see the visual tag. Also, if you look immediately below the percentage field in the score inspector, you will discover that while the system has accepted your modified grade, it has not thrown out the original calculated mark. You will see the original calculations and always have the option to revert back to this mark. This is especially helpful if you need to give a student an incomplete as their final mark. When the student does make up their work or complete whatever is required to remove the incomplete, you can then revert right back to the calculation. The score and comment inspector on this traditional grade page is also where you will enter your report card or progress report comments. At the bottom of the inspector, you will find a comment box. You can also access the comment inspector by clicking on the comment bubble icon on the top right hand of the inspector itself. This comment box will note your character limit as you type and is appropriately set so that your comment will not take up too much space on the report card itself. Do not exceed this comment limit. You can manually enter your end of term comments or you can utilize your comment bank the same way you would do so on an assignment. The data from this comment field will be pulled onto the report cards and progress reports of your students. Note that the final grade column is associated with a term. The grades correspond to the reporting term you select in the term menu in the top right hand corner of your page. To see or work with grades for a different term, open the term menu and select a reporting term code. Also, for the time being, just note the final grade status button at the bottom right hand side of this screen. We will talk more about this shortly. Comment verification. If you return to the quick menu, the arrow beside the name of the page you are currently viewing, you will find a comment verification page. This is another view of the final grades of your students and final report card comments, if they have been entered. This is a working page. By clicking into the grade or comment box, you will open up the score inspector and can enter or edit final report card grades and comments here just as you did on the preceding page. Again, note that the comment verification page also provides a final grade status button at the bottom right hand side of the page. More on this in a few minutes. Category totals. Back in your quick menu, you also have a page called category totals. This is more of an analysis page than a working page. You can, of course, still click into the student's final grade column and manage that final grade and comment through the score inspector. Following the student's name and final grade columns, you have a breakdown of the categories created by the district. 
These columns display how a student performed on work within the category. A teacher can and should use this page to assess if a student is having difficulty with a certain type of assignment. As a teacher, you can use this data when as evidence when talking with a parent or student. You can also use it to inform the instruction of your class and evaluate if certain assignments you give are too difficult or easy. Finally, this page shows you what category percentage is of your student. This is highly relevant if your final grade is based off of category weights. You now know what those grades are impacting the final mark without having to go in and do all the category breakdowns on your own. All reporting terms. The all reporting terms final grade page allows you the teacher to view all the final grades of a student for each term of your course. This is a wonderful page for final grade review in the second six weeks or third or so on. This is on account of the fact that you will be able to click into the preceding term cell and see the grade and comment of the student for that term. You can then click into the current terms final grade cell and expand upon the comment you made six weeks ago. Recalculating final grades. Although final grades in Unified Classroom are calculated automatically, you can force a recalculation if necessary. You would use the recalculate tool after making significant changes to grades, such as adding multiple assignment scores for students who transferred from another class. Also, recalculate grades when your PowerSchool administrator changes a setting that affects grading, such as grade calculation formula. To recalculate your final grades, you would first choose the grading charm from the navigation menu. Choose grades and then select the traditional grades page. On the right hand side of the screen at the top, you will find the gear with which you are beginning to become very familiar. You will find the option to recalculate final grades here. This will open a window on the top of your screen that will run through a quick wizard. You can specify if you want to recalculate traditional grades, standard grades, or both. You can also specify if you will be recalculating for this one class you are currently working within or for multiple classes. At this point in time, Dallas ISD is not utilizing the standards part of the gradebook. Submitting final grades. At the end of the term, notify your school's PowerSchool administrator that you have finished entering the scores for the term and that final grades are ready to be stored. Or, if you are not yet done with final grades and the final grade deadline is near, send a status comment to your PowerSchool administrator, such as, final grades will be done by Friday. Because Unified Classroom is web-based, every time you enter assignment marks or work in your gradebook, you are technically submitting grades. So this end-of-term process is more about verifying that your grades are complete and what you expect to see on the report card. To verify your grades or sign off on your gradebook, you will use the Final Grade Status button at the bottom of the traditional or comment verification pages of the Unified Classroom. Selecting the Final Grades button on either page you do not have to select it on both. Pick which one you want to use. We'll open a pop-up window on the top of your screen. There will be a checkbox within this window where you can check and verify that you are finished with your grades for whichever term in which you are working. You will also find the comment box wherein you can relate any information to your administrator that is necessary. Save your information. Your PowerSchool administrator will see the final grade statuses of your classes along with any status comments you've submitted by running the section readiness report in PowerSchool. Keep in mind that this function pertains to only the section of the course you actually signed off on. If you teach six classes, you will need to sign off on each class. So perform this function six times each term. Also, this function does not prevent a teacher from making modifications. A teacher can sign off and then go back and modify grades or comments. Locked reporting terms. At the end of a reporting term, your PowerSchool administrator may choose to lock the reporting term to prevent changes to grades so that the grades in the teacher's gradebook remain the same as the grades that have been stored in PowerSchool and included on report cards. Your PowerSchool administrator will define the dates on which reporting terms will be locked. Once a reporting term is locked, you will not be able to change final grades assignment scores, or assignments that have been scored. Additionally, if you recalculate final grades, grades in any locked terms will not be recalculated. 
If your school or district leaders decide to lock reporting terms, you will see warning messages at the top of unified classroom pages, such as the score sheet and traditional grades pages. Before the reporting term is locked, you will see a warning message indicating when the reporting term will be locked. For example, you may see a message that says the reporting term will be locked in five days. Be sure to complete final grades before the end of the lock date. Once a reporting term has been locked, you will see a message indicating that the term is locked. If you attempt to score an assignment or a standard aligned to an assignment that has a due date and a locked term, you will also see a message in the score inspector indicating that the score is locked. What if you need to correct a final grade after a term is locked? If you need to change assignment scores or final grades after a reporting term has been locked, contact your Power School administrator. Your administrator can temporarily unlock one or more of your classes so that you can make the necessary changes. Personalizing Unified Classroom. At the beginning of this training, we noted that we discussed some ways you could personalize your Unified Classroom experience. To access these personalized options, you will click on your name in the lower left-hand corner of the navigation menu. You can customize various display settings, such as controlling the scale of your Unified Classroom text and how class names appear, by period and day, or section number, or with a custom name. To set up your preferred settings, in the menu that appears when you choose your name from the navigation menu, choose Settings. Then select Display Settings. You can set your text size to small, medium, or large. The default setting is small. You can change the display and sorting option by opening this menu. Select the option you prefer. This will only change the way a class is defined within your own gradebook. You can choose to show traditional grades or not. And if you are, and you are, you can choose to show the grade, the percent, and or the points a student has earned. You can also specify whether you want to show standards information in your gradebook. Finally, you can set options for how you want the student's name to be listed in your gradebook and what you want to do with pre-registered or new enrolled students. Conclusion and Seeking Help Unified Classroom is a robust tool, and while we have covered a lot of information about this system, please know that you will discover your own tricks in using the system. You will have your own ideas about how to utilize the system to best help you and your students. We invite you to become familiar with the system. Don't be frightened, but look at this as a tool to help you in your work and discover all the ways it can. We also recognize that at some point you are going to have questions. You have help built into the feature itself. To access step-by-step -step directions, videos, and training workbooks, click the help icon, which looks like a question mark, in the top right corner of the dashboard, and then click Help Center. Teacher Help opens in a new browser tab or window so you can keep it open while using Unified Classroom, and then close the tab or window when you are done. If the help feature in your Unified Classroom system does not answer your question, Follow procedures already in place to access your chain of help.